Hey YouTube, it's Mike here, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing off my, all my original Game Boy games. Um, I did used to have Pokemon, but I actually traded that to a friend for a couple games. So, um, yeah, that's the explanation why I don't have that. But anyways, let's get into it. Um, also follow me on Twitter. Don't tell me what else. Um, we have Bubble Bobble here. Game, I don't think. Nope, this is not a common game. For the system or the NES. That's just maybe more com. This is definitely more common than the NES one. Um, right here we have Kirby's Dreamland. I think this game is like a twenty dollars game. I only got it for three ninety nine, not from my Goodwill, but from my local video game store. Um, Super Mario Land 2. I traded, I had a duplicate copy of Mario for the Game Boy Color. I think it was, yeah, it was deluxe. Um, but this is a little yellowed, but I had two copies and I figured, why not get a Mario game I don't have? We have <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which just doesn't even say Nintendo Game Boy, it just says straight up Game Boy. I'm pretty sure that this is a bootleg cartridge. Is this thing did not even work when I put it in my Game Boy? I got for it was like half off, so I got fifty cents for that. Um, right here we have Special Color Edition Pac Man. I had this game, but the label was destroyed, and I wind up getting this at a garage sale. So, here, why not switch out the copies? We have Matchbox Construction Zone. Um, it was only like a buck. And it's a Game Boy game I didn't have. So I figured why not just pick that up. Tetris DX. Um, I got this out of your tail as well. I can explain stories on all these another time, but um, I have Tetris DX. Bugs Life. Which Pete Dorr said this was the worst video game he ever bought. Um, I don't really know about that. I still have to try this thing out. Miss Pac-Man Special Color Edition. It's really awesome. Um, I have both Pac-Mans in color on the Game Boy. Revenge of the Gator. This is the most recent Game Boy game I've gotten. And I got it for $1.99 in a protective Game Boy carrier. Which you guys, if you watch the game scavengers, you saw. But, um, here, yeah, Avenger Gator. WWF Warzone. I actually got this when I was a kid. So it's got the old price sticker on the back. But, um, right there we have WWF Warzone. Dr. Mario. Um, for, got it for buck ninety nine. Not bad purchase there. The Lion King. Um, how much did I get this? Wait, I think I got that. I got the bugs like and stuff like that. WWF Superstars had this since I was a kid as well. Um, Game and Watch Gallery got for three ninety nine. It's a good game. We have Star Wars. Um. Player's Choice Edition, though. Or actually, hang on. Is this Player's Choice? Yeah. Player's Choice Million Seller. Um. I actually didn't know it was Player's Choice until right now, actually. So I gotta find an original copy of that game. And. Caesar's Palace. Um. We got good old GameStop stickers invested on this thing. But I've had this since I was a kid. Overall, that is my original Game Boy collection. Thank you guys for watching.